Hey there, my name is Moritz Peters and I'm a PhD student with Frank Chen at the FML. In two weeks I want to tell you about my PhD project, which focuses on identifying divergences in the adaptive immune system across different mouse species. A key unit of the adaptive immune system is the T-cell. T-cells are capable of recognizing pathogen-derived peptides presented by infected cells and subsequently initiate an immune response. In order to recognize those peptides, each T-cell has its own and unique T-cell receptor, which may or may not be specific for a specific peptide. The total repertoire size of all T-cell receptors for each individual is estimated to consist of 10 to the power of 6 unique T-cell receptor sequences. A question that comes to one's mind immediately is how this gigantic T-cell receptor repertoire is created during T-cell development. Let's take a look at this. The germline configuration of the T-cell receptor consists of a concatenation of individual sequence snippets. These snippets can be classified as V in red, D in green, and um, J in yellow snippets. In a process called VDJ recombination, one of each snippet is randomly concatenated to each other. The resulting sequence looks like this. This sequence is then transcribed and translated into the first of the two final T-cell receptor chains. The same process happens for a second chain that only consists of V and J segments. Once these two segments are expressed together at the surface of a T-cell, they define the specificity to a specific peptide. Today we know that this process is not entirely stochastic. Related individuals oftentimes share a common T-cell receptor sequence basis. In my PhD project, I want to identify overlaps and differences in the T-cell receptor repertoire across different closely related mouse species. If you are interested in how to analyze a complex and diverse system like the T-cell receptor system, tune in next Wednesday to my Research and Action Seminar talk. I'm looking forward to seeing you there.